What is up YouTube? I'm back once again with that episode 3 of my DIY electric bike series. So uh, basically from the last video I just showed you guys a bit of a sneak peek to this bike. I didn't really go too far in depth with uh, how this is going and my future plans towards this project. But uh, today I'm just going to uh, show you guys what I've ordered and currently have uh, received in the mail. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, get into that now. This is basically the stuff I have ordered from eBay. Uh, a lot of this came from China, so it did take quite a while, so that's why I had to delay this video a little bit. But uh, basically, uh, what I have is a uh, 5 amp step down converter, so I can step down the uh, future 72 volts I'm planning on using to 12. Um, I'm not sure if this will be able to handle 72, so I'll probably end up getting another one. This is a 12 volt. Uh, battery meter. I used this on my Tesla Power before but then I uh, quickly switched to something else so this will be what I use to monitor, to monitor the 12 volt output from this so then I can make sure that I'm getting a good stable output. Uh, the next thing that will be running off this will be my 12 volt to 5 volt USB charger. So it's a really nice unit. Uh, uh, so it's got a bit of a seal and then if you take that off you got a 2.1 and a 1 amp charger. This is mainly for a car but obviously I'm going to use it for my my bike so I can charge because I've got a um, bone holder on my bike. So sometimes when my battery is running low I can just top it up. So there you go. This will just have a have a circular hole cut. This will go in and there's a little bracket bolt thing in here that will just uh, clamp it onto the wood. So yeah, um, that hopefully will work. It's also got some uh, connectors with it as well so that's uh, always nice uh, the next thing this will be the next thing is my DC jacks so I'll get one of those out as well I'll be using this for charging so I've got four packs of five in series so that's 72 volts I'll have four jacks on the bike for the four independent packs and then I'll also have another two which will connect uh, two of the batteries in series, so it'll be two 36 volt packs. So currently, I've got two 30 amp chargers coming in the mail. Um, they are 30. They can go up to 90 volts, so I can charge the whole pack with one jack. But then, if I want to speed it up, I can get two, three, or four, and have those running like each pack. Um, so I'm going to do another video explaining how that works, um, how I make my DIY charger. But um, that's just a bit of a sneak peek to that. Um, and then the final thing I have, which I've still got more coming in, uh, is the, so, uh, this requires a 12 volt connection, so then the LED lights up the top of this, so I've got to do it on the side because of the post here, I'm just going to have a lot of switches and dials and gauges and all that kind of stuff, and then I'm going to be using 4D carbon fiber wrap. This is a uh, really nice stuff, it's a lot more expensive than the other carbon fiber wrap I used. This will... Uh, waterproof the wood a little bit and uh, just make it look a lot nicer and I'm going to be trying to do this in one run uh, probably not it probably won't fit I'll probably have to go this way and then that way and then have a separate one going across and then and then with that um, you can see here there's a bit of like glue resin that's come out I'm going to try and sand that back and clean it up or whatever and then I'm going to wrap over that and then I'm going to have some aluminum like L 90 degree L pieces just going along there, going along there as kind of like corning, corner accent kind of things. Uh, it should look really nice. Um, and then maybe I could just drill the switches through that. So then I've got a nice stable place to put them and mount them to. So uh, that is pretty much it for this video. In the next video I'll have all this wrapped up and looking really nice. Um, I've got future plans to uh, get a new motor controller, a 1500 watt 72 volt controller. And I'm also looking at getting a bigger wheel because this is only a 26 and it doesn't really fit with uh, the um, the rest of the bike with the 29 inch wheel. So I'm going to get a custom wheel built for that. Hopefully 1000 or 1500 watts. I'm going to be overvolting it because it's got to be a 48 volt unit to overvolt it to 72. So this thing should really uh, go when you pull the throttle, which is basically what I want. Um, but if you guys do know anything about spoking rims or anything, uh, please leave it in the comments below. Um, I'm thinking about building one myself because it's hard to get the 29 inch. Most of them are 26. 
But uh, that is pretty much it. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more DIY electric bike videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.